Okay. Okay, I'm in Mukden, demonstration. Then I got somebody here. What's your name? Judy Revick. My name is Judy Revick. And you're a famous uh, activist. Yeah, more or less. Famous in Canada, anyway. Really? <laughs> and have you been, you've been doing this for, for a long time? Yeah, I've been doing it for 40 years since I was a student. 40 years? Yeah. Judy, what do you think of today's activists compared to when we were younger? Yeah. Well, I think the young people who are active, there's not as many young people who are active, but the ones who are, are amazing. Like, I think they're really smart. I think they're much more uh, clear what they're doing. They're much more sophisticated. I'm very impressed by young activists today. Are you? Yeah, really impressed. I think there's not enough of them. Most young people are inactive. Whereas when I was young, you know, you sort of <coughs> everybody practically was an activist. So I think that's the problem, because a lot of young people don't believe it's possible to change anything. And so they're cynical about change, so they don't get active. But the ones who are active are great. They say, like today, we used to run the coffee shops and the bars and the malls, but now you got the information highway. Wouldn't you wish the information highway would have been around 40 years ago? <laughs> well, I don't. I'm not, I don't get into that. Like well, that was. I'm into the information highway now. I think the internet is great. I think it's great for organizing. We, we did a pretty good job without it. We don't even did have. The information, we didn't have cell phones, we didn't have answers. I know, I know, so is that a good thing or a bad thing? <laughs> I know. Well, it just was, you know. And that's, that's the way it was. What's the poorest province in Canada? Do you see, I mean, where, where does the province treat the poor more harshly? Which yeah, province? New Brunswick is the worst. New Brunswick really? Has, oh, yeah. New Brunswick has the lowest social assistance rates and the highest level of poverty of any province in the country. And Newfoundland, Newfoundland might have a higher level of poverty, but has better social assistance rates. New Brunswick's the worst. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yes. How do we change it? Well, I think there's an opening right now because there is this uh, commission that's going around looking at the reduction of poverty. I mean, I don't like that. I think it has to be the elimination. I think it's a chance for anti-poverty groups to really speak up and for people to really speak up, tell their stories, and put, to and put together a series of proposals and then push for it with the government. So I think there's a real opening right now, especially with the uh, economic crisis, because uh, the injustice of the current system, I think, is going to start to hit everybody, not just the poor. And so it's a chance for poor people to say, well, you know, we have to fix this system uh, yeah. based on greed. And we need a different kind of system that takes care of everybody. And, you know, there's lots of wealth to do that. And uh, I think it's a good opportunity right now. And what this is a great group. Like, uh, yeah. I I don't know of a group like this. Um, Procama. And, and, yeah, Justice. the Front Commune is an excellent group. You know, it unites very diverse forces, churches, poor people's groups, unions. Uh, yeah. It looks really good to me. What do you think of Stephen Harper? Does he scare you? Mm, I don't scare easy, but <laughs> <laughs> I think he, I th I'm, I'm worried. I, I think he's um, a very dangerous man. Really, I take to say that. Listen. Uh, oh, by the way, uh, how, how am I doing for an interview with a blogger? Was I uh, all right? Yeah, very good. Thank Thanks. you very much. <laughs> See you later. Yeah.